it's allowed me to really dive into the study and, and see what it has to offer. And um, if, if I didn't have that opportunity, I don't think I would feel the way that I feel right now about nursing. I'm, I'm so excited to get out there into the workforce and it's all due to having enough time to really study, knuckle down and enjoy what I, what I like to do. The relationships I made while I was in New York um, on my Morris de Rohan scholarship are just priceless and I still have those collaborations now. They've been useful to me not only through completing my PhD but now um, as a postdoctoral research fellow as well I still use those relationships all the time. I felt very excited when I actually got the scholarship as I knew that my final year would be quite intense as I had placements throughout the entire year and my partner and I were expecting the birth of our first child so I knew it was going to be a massive year. So having that scholarship really, really helped alleviate those anxieties and made me quite relaxed in going into that study. It has been very inspiring to see um, how, it, how this has changed people's lives. Um, they get a great sense of confidence and self-esteem. And quite often they're the first person in their, in their family to have gone to university, um, which is wonderful. And um, they're a great role model for their community. It's very rewarding. Uh, to, to see the graduations and to see the nurses come through at the end, but also many of them are financially strapped. They, they have rent, so many of them live out of home, many of them are from the country. They have financial commitments and it puts a lot of stress on them when they are at their placements because many of them are unable to work during that time. So it allows them to focus on their study which is the optimum um, for all of them. My biggest goal is I really hope to come back to uni and share my experiences with future generation of nurses so, and, and help them and guide them in a way that I've been guided here at uni, UniSA. I currently work as a postdoctoral research fellow. Um, I'm in my fourth year postdoc. Um, so I have a teaching research role and I teach a couple of days a week uh, at an undergrad psych level and then the rest of the time I uh, still conduct sleep research, uh, primarily now concerned with the health and well-being of shift workers. Currently I am working as an occupational therapist for Navisa Children's Services and I'm also working part-time at the University of Adelaide as an Indigenous Project Officer. In both of the roles I get to experience um, a great sense of fulfillment in my clinical OT skills. Just the confidence it gives them and you know that they can just see that the journey is, is worth doing is just awe-inspiring. We just, um, just, just keep on getting blown away by, by the stories we hear and so I feel it's a privilege to, um, to be part of that process.